A really neat and simple technique in Photoshop is to take a color image, convert it to black and white, and then bring back some of the original color as I'm showing here in this picture of Morant's curve taken in Banff Lake Louise. Now I'm going to close this picture and let's take a color image, select File, Browse and Bridge, Photoshop 1 Tutorials, and then go to the black and white color folder. Inside here we're going to take the kayak color image and I've got some other images you can try afterwards or you may have your own. Let's open this uh, particular color image. Now in order to convert to black and white we've done that and I'll show you this but we're going to open up the history tab which is over here on the side. If it's not there select window history and open it up. In fact I'm going to drag it here and then click on it. The History tab acts like a tape recorder. Every time we do something, it will record the various steps that we do. So we'll just leave this here. First thing, let's convert this image to black and white. Now in your workflow, you may have other adjustments such as levels and so forth that you're doing first, and that's fine. But we'll go Image, Adjustments, Black and White, and again, you can play with the sliders here, but I'm just going to select something like this and say OK. Now we've converted the image to black and white but I want to bring back some color just in the kayaks and uh, on my friend here. So to do that we go over to the tools panel and we're going to select here it is the history brush it's the top one. Select the history brush and you'll see a circle. You can make the circle or the brush size bigger or smaller using the tools at the top. So here's your diameter. And the hardness usually I recommend setting it to zero. And I'm using my scroll wheel to zoom in here. So I can uh, work at a little higher detail. Now, with the history brush selected, we go over to the history palette and you click beside open and What's going to happen now is wherever I paint, it's going to return the original color that when I opened it. And here we go. So I'm just going to paint over it here carefully. And of course you can zoom in and do whatever you like on it. So you can work at the individual pixel level if you want. And here's the red. Very simple, but it can result in some uh, really interesting uh, photograph. So if you've got a, a color image and you want to convert it to black and white and then return some of the color, this is a very simple way to do it. So again, to recap, you go image adjustments, convert the image to black and white, you go over to select the history brush, you must have the history palette open, and you click next to wherever you, uh, you've you opened it or if you've done some color correction you might click down here lower but this basically the brush returns the colors to this original state and when you're done you save the file and uh, print it in RGB mode